when the whole idea about going to Afghanistan first came up, I don't think there was a single one of us that, that hesitated. It was just a case of, yeah, let's go. There wasn't any time to think about it, really. Uh, next thing you know, we're um, at Sydney International Airport, bound for uh, the Middle East. to Darwin and then a further 12 to 13 hours and uh, next thing you know we're in Dubai it was surreal just looking out at the airbase there and seeing uh, the plane that we came in on totally unmarked desert all around Jets flying overhead. It started to feel pretty surreal. I know we're, we're being legal, but we've just landed in. Uh, where are we? Dubai. Check out the room. There's um, not really enough room to swing a cat. But we will try. But we will try. We've got um, bugger all to do until 1100 hours. <laughs> 1100 hours, they're funny, Call home. Call home. Tell everybody we're okay and um, go training. Military training, what a concept. Um, we were trained, um, you know, uh, all about IEDs, you know, uh, improvised explosive devices. Um, we were given amazing first aid training, um, you know, in case somebody was hit. Um, we were trained in how to deal with that situation if we were under fire. I mean, basically, we were, we were trained as you would be trained if you were in the military. We, we never felt I'm like, I'm like a civilian at any point. And that was cool. <sighs> Paradise. I was just demonstrating the arm. <laughs> days we were training went, went really quickly. Um, you know, before we knew it, it was time to have dinner in the mess and uh, sleep and uh, wake up early the next day for day two of training. Uh, we never had any ex expectations going into Afghanistan, but um, one thing was apparent. We had absolutely no idea. 